kind of hard, isn't it? To like go out or whatever. Mm. For certain men. And your girl might be going through them Facebook pictures. She's, she's like, oh, where'd you go last night? All right, cool, you're there. All right, cool. Pictures are up. No, no, she'll be looking through the... Remember back in the day before Instagram took it off? You know the section where you, you they can see what you liked? Oh, so As of recently. Okay. They, that was a section, in it? People could go through that. Oh, Even the ones you're yeah. tagged on. Yeah, fam. Yeah, we've all been there. We've, yeah, all, we've been all been there. there. Why do you like that picture? Why did you, what, what did you like man? about it? <laughs> what are you doing? I like the caption. <laughs> mm. I like I like the views in the yeah, back. Yeah, <laughs> fine, but certain donies, I, I can't see no names, but a lot of guys get away with it. A lot of guys are, are liking every. They're just moving like Scarface with it. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? But now they took it off in it. They they took off that feature. Okay, so it's fine. You can like painting. But you know, like there's always like I might see a picture of something on my popular page. And it's, I always see the same names. I'll tell you after, but, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's certain names I always see, and I'm like, no, but your girl must see it. Like you're either like, yeah, she obviously don't pay attention, or I'm not even saying it's a problem. But if someone's twerking and da 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 da, and your man likes it, I know that girl is. Is that a big it. deal? What if 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 you like a picture? Yeah, if you like a for, video for, or a pic of like a girl. I don't think I don't think it is, but like from a girl's perspective, mm. I think like. You see, the thing I notice with women is I don't think they'll pay too much mind, but if it doesn't look like them, so like if your girl's white and then you're looking, you're oh, liking a picture of like some okay. buff black thing, it's okay. like, okay, that's not me. So what do you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I think I think I've had a discussion about that on a show before. Mm. Like what's wrong with my, if um like early on, like liking pics shouldn't be a big deal. Mm. And um, <laughs> the girls literally said like, like, yeah, what, what if she doesn't look, like yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. first off, I, I, what I said was first off, that's important. That's gonna be impossible mm. because what I like is basically either around me, mm. um, where I go party at, they'll be around there, or like, or um, or yeah, I've I've dated someone like them or mm. or whatever mm. appearance wise. Mm. So. For me personally, I don't think it's a problem. Mm. Okay. But I get what you mean by mm. like when there's a different race, maybe yeah, or yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. she got bigger cheeks than them. Yeah. Or like. To, yeah. To be honest, this is the problem with social media. I think it's like it's the perception. So like, I know that if I like a picture, for whatever reason, I could like the aesthetic of the picture. I could like where the girl is. I could like the caption. She could have put something like that caught my attention. But I think when a female sees it. The perception is, oh yeah, you like the girl in that picture, because we've all like a lot of guys have been there. You talk to a guy, oh yeah, I liked the picture the other day. Oh blood, my girl said the same thing. Da, 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 da. Do you know what I'm saying? So everyone's been there, but I think is yeah, like <coughs> oh, oh, no. I don't know because obviously I've not been in a serious relationship, so I can't okay. say anything. But I've you'll have been... that day. That day will come. Yeah, I know, yeah. but but I've no, but I've been, <laughs> I've had that situation before to where okay. when I was in a situation of like seeing when i was seeing someone situation shit yeah. not a situation shit but i was actually dating someone okay and they were like they saw me like this picture yeah. i was like my name is there like, <laughs> you know Screenshot. what i mean yeah. <laughs> but my name is yeah. literally there i'm like what, what so why are you liking them pics then or they okay. see me like scrolling yeah. through instagram and liking a picture yeah. straight in front of them bro. okay and i'm like it's an instagram i like it's a magazine i, I can flip through pictures like yeah. it's no big deal i'm yes, not yes. watching anything like yeah if it was something like degrading, like mm. that could be offensive, I get it. Mm. But nothing is offensive mm. on Instagram like mm. that anyway. All right, cool. So that- let me flip it. So if you were seeing a girl, you're serious. Yeah. I don't know. Let's say a picture pops up. Trey Songs, for example. Yeah. Yeah. She likes the picture. Have you got an issue? You see that she's no, like the picture and he's, he's, topless, a- he's topless in the picture. Yeah. No. Th- there's nothing about the picture that's like creative. Yeah, but the thing is, God willing in that. I will <laughs> <laughs> God willing in that. That like, I will probably have the same body as it. Okay. All right. Because if you don't, if I don't, mm. I can't. I can't. But, do you, but you. do you? I can't control you. Right, I'll so feel you... a way, but that'll motivate personally me. And I'll motivate <laughs> me to go gym. gym. <laughs> That's motivate. No, real talk. Real talk. Yeah. Do you know how many girls I follow on gram or I know personally, and they talk about this artist that I would get a body, fam. Mm. For me, just me. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I was insecure, but that got me like, I need to be at the gym. Mm. I need to work out because if I don't, which is kind of like a fucked up thing men- mentally wise, mm. but at the same time I'm doing it in a positive sense to where, because 
I'm like, you know what? It's kind of getting me healthy as well. Okay. So like I'm actually active. I'm not yeah. just stuck out in a in um in my bed, just yeah. looking through my phone or like in a computer, looking through random shit, mm, watching mm, YouTube mm, videos. Mm. Like I'm actually active doing something else. So it's a it's a it's it's a double edged sword. I know, but like mm. for me, it does it would motivate me. Like I remember a girl telling me. Um, All right, but wait. Sorry, one more question. But oh, what yeah. if you didn't look like you in the face? In so the no, face. So in the body, bro. More, more times, more time, they won't look like me. Mm. Anyway, so I. Pff, is it, is, it, is. it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. You know, okay. you know me like. Mm. You're chilled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not just that. You know who I'm around. Mm. What type of women? <laughs> <laughs> you know what the type of women yeah. I'm usually around okay. anyway. Okay. So yeah. it's like, I don't. That doesn't surprise me, you know. Okay. That won't surprise me at all. I fuck with but that. at the same time. Mm. I'm just like, all right, cool, right. Mm, mm. no that's good though that's i think and i think that's the problem with social media because like i said like it can kill relationship if you're not careful mm. so like if i see a picture mm. i've already had this conversation with my girl because it's like i don't really want to be liking pictures because one thing i noticed is when you get drawn into that world of looking at shit what's on instagram it kind of bears resentment or like you mm. might you might not like your life so if i'm always looking at shit that's like oh this guy's got this fly clothes all these girls on Instagram look like this, their asses look like this, and your girl don't look like that, it can very easily kind of sort of like trick your mind into not wanting a woman. What you, mean. you know what I'm saying? I feel I like a lot of relationships break up because people think there's something better out there for them. Yeah, true. Do you know what I'm saying? You're looking I f- at... Yeah, hmm. I think I know what you mean because I mm. think like it's almost... I don't know if this is a good example, but mm. you imagine like a girl... Let's say a girl's in a relationship, yeah? Okay. And she's, I wouldn't, I'd say she's happy, mm-hmm. like of what she has, who she's with, and stuff like that. Mm. But <clears throat> obviously, as you say, what she sees in social media might trigger her in a certain way or whatever. Yeah. So, one night, let's say, she ends up raving, bashments on yo, what she's waved, she catches a whine. Mm. But she's in a relationship. She just wants to whine. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you mean catch a whine from a man? Yeah. So she's whined on a man. Yeah, she's whined up on a man. That's not her man. Nah, fuck that. But at the same time, she's like, listen, I'm in a relationship. I just want to do that and have fun. Mm. The man usually... So this is why some certain men ruin it for a lot of people mm-hmm. in the club. Mm-hmm. Like, you should be like, all right, cool. You wanted to just dance, in it? Like, I'm not going to interrupt you, mm. interrupt your relationship, have a good night over there. No problem. You know what, man? Obviously, man, they be like, what? Don't care, man. We can still be friends. Yeah, just and what, you look what? You're trying. I have no friends. Bro, let her enjoy the wine. <laughs> enjoy the night, blood. Bruv. That's a, an example of social media mm. in the sense of we, it tricking us to see what's going on in the single life. Mm. So it's like, I'm seeing these men enjoy pop bottles and all of that mm. example as well. She, and she could be seeing her friends whine upon a different man, mm. da, 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 just enjoying life, getting mm. free drinks and left, mm. right, and mm. mm. That's it, it, every other yeah, thing. it's dangerous. Man. So it's dangerous, I know. But at the same time, it depends on how secure you are. Yeah. Um, both ways, yeah. men and women. Like yeah. how you... And it depends on, I feel like if, you, if you're if you aware of how it's dangerous, like, I'm not saying I'm fully out of it, but I like to f- consider myself as someone who is on the outside looking in. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I feel like it doesn't, I don't get swept away by it. I don't feel to even put any of my personal life really on Instagram. Like my is pretty much just for photography. I don't really want to yeah. put my kids up. I don't put my relationship up. I don't want to put up nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't put my family up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's put... for me, it's just a platform. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't Similar put, for you. The only thing I put is my friends, mm. which is fine. Mm. I do a little subliminal pictures here and there when I was seeing a few babes. Mm. <laughs> okay, a few. <laughs> you know, a few babes. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. When I was dating, like one at a time, in it. Oh, one at a time. Okay. Mm. Let's clear that up. Mm. Disclaimer. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> make sure not to ruin timelines. Um, yeah, yeah. Like you know, the, you know the shoe picks on them there. Picks. You know when you. You're both, you're both in front oh, of each yeah, other. Oh yeah, and you're yeah that's, your, that's your bag, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, something like, something like. Mm. Um, you do, I do, I used to do that. Mm. Um, but I wouldn't do it like on a regular basis, like maybe when yeah. I feel like it. Yeah. So, but, but that's not too bad. That's, yeah. that's a pre- you're appreciating something when you're showing it. Yeah, I feel like but that's that's different. Yeah, but I don't. The reason why I don't want to show my family is on on any of my social media, is because of what people are like mm. I don't I, think I've ever seen any of your family yeah you remember um, obviously you know Three Shots 
Who shot the podcast? The other podcast. Yeah, yeah, okay. Remember with um one of the members, like he said something bad way back and it okay. came back Serious. um on okay. Twitter. Everyone was thinking, well, and they bring up his parents, like pictures, and I'm like, oh, they were in on him. Okay. This is what I mean. Okay. So I'm like, wow. The man has apologized maybe once, twice already. Was it bad what you said? It was mainly about like tro- how he- it was mainly meant to be a social experiment on Twitter. Okay. Like remember Twitter back in the day was wild. Yeah. Like trolling was. Kevin Hart even got called out. Yeah. Man. Everyone. It mm. was that time around mm. that time, and he wrote a blog about it, and then that happened. So that it still backfired, mm. but at the same time he's just like, listen, I apologize for it, whatever. This is that was that was a mistake that I shouldn't have made, but people are still bringing it up on him, mm. Mm. and I'm like. One, the man's apologized already and said, that's not him. He did it for an experiment to show you guys what social media is now. Okay. Years ago. Yeah. Remember, back in the day, trolling was a mazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can say what you want. Yeah. I, I would hate to see what I wrote on Facebook like five years ago. Fam. Like, I cringe at some shit I wrote. Fam. You know what I'm saying? I've started to delete bad pictures <laughs> on Facebook. Mine's, well, I think most of mine's private. All my albums are private, so I just use it as like a little photo storage, to be honest. Yeah, I... I've, I haven't posted in <clears throat> mm. um, Facebook in time. Do you not put the podcast on there? No. Okay. No, I, well, it, the page is on. Okay. But it's even not my regular, parents don't really have a podcast on it, so it's like, okay. I just keep it kind of to myself low a key, little bit until, yeah. until the, the, yeah. the checks the, come the, in. The big checks. The, t- okay. the paychecks come in, you yeah, know what I mean? Spotify holler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spotify holler, Apple Music and Tidal yeah. in that. I was thinking about that today, bro. It's interesting you said, what's this number 86, do you say? 89. Yeah, so... I listen to Joe Budden podcast. Not regular. I haven't been listening to it as much. I've yeah. been listening to one Russell Brand one. But um, Russell Brand apparently that that's, that's cold, Brand bro. is called. Yeah, but it's, is it's, I think there's only so many on Spotify. There's like 90 episodes, but it's moved on to something called Audible. Audible, but, yeah, yeah, because he has his that. book. Okay, I haven't got book. that. But um, I was thinking, what well, they've been with Spotify maybe like a year now or mm. a little bit longer. They done like a good 200 episodes without that. And I didn't notice that. Yeah. I thought from the beginning he's been making money, but recently he was saying, yeah, like, what's it, Wednesday, Saturday. So they've been turning up every week for like 200 weeks before they even started making any money from it, fam. Mm. So how do you feel about the podcast? I wanted to ask you. Mm. And like the direction it's going, what you want from it? Um, I think like, I think it's gone, it's mentally challenging. Mm. I could tell that for one. Like in the sense of every week content, trying to find guests, getting some pe- getting people in, like people canceling or mm. like try to adjust. Mm. So I'm trying to, f- I'm, s- it's noticeable like that sense, but I'm, I'm happy where it's gone in the sense of just like. I'm making con, I'm making stuff that I'm happy with, mm. like, and I've learned every episode like i've learned something about myself mm. so i've seen i've heard my drunk self i've heard <laughs> my political self i've heard i've heard my hurt self when i'm hurt or mm. like when i'm upset or like mm, various mm, other mm, things mm. so i've kind of learned myself a little bit more and more but it's at the life. same time at the same time i'm trying to like make it relatable to people and understand um that that like i'm not the only person that feels like this or has these opinions or various mm-hmm. other things so mm-hmm. like having women's opinions like when they come yeah, on the that's show dope, that's dope. and having obviously the mandem when the mandem talk agrees mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. all that mm-hmm. shit like it's just a vibe like normal conversation um with friends mm. like when i used to do big groups of, like six people at a time bro that that could be basically a drink up yeah definitely i got degree. that vibe from it definitely so in the beginning it's that's something that i want to keep but at the same time i want to grow the thing so content and mm. topics and so forth have to be kind of what I wouldn't say relate relatable but also like mm. people actually think about mm. like what you talked about social media mm. um, relationship between men and women in social mm. media mm-hmm. and then we obviously um, how people move during relationships how they should move so like mm. it, it can be related interesting yeah I yeah, think platforms are good platforms podcasts are a very good platform yeah for but um, stuff to get out there. but in a the sense of what i want from it i kind <coughs> of just want to i can see something like mm. in my head that mm. i that there's something more to life with this mm-hmm. so i can 
this this here can plateau me to somewhere else. That next level, yeah. To next level, Mm. it's just waiting for my turn. Mm. I hear that. It's just waiting for for some reason. Mm. It's just waiting for my turn. Mm. That's that's literally it. Mm. Like because it's weird to say there's so many people Mm. on this thing now. Bro, it's kind of like yeah. It's like, but it does come and go. Like I tweeted about this, like. When you do new things, it it's nice it, mm. for a certain amount of time. Unless you, but when you have to be more <coughs> consistent, and you have of to course. work a lot, yeah, that will determine if you're on yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, if yeah. you know what I mean. So that will yeah. make you fall back, or that will make you keep going. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, I fuck so to this and day, I, since I've done, because I used to do t- every two weeks. Mm. Since I started every week, I haven't missed the episode since. Serious. And that was last That's year. life. That's life. And the platform's growing. I've noticed, like. Followers is going up. Everything's going yeah, up. Followers is going up. Yeah, man. But everything think, comes slowly, innit? Yeah, guess having guests come in, mm. um, kind of grows it a little bit. I prefer the I prefer the ones with one or two guests, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like with the when it's a big group, there's always someone that isn't as vocal. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you get, I, get like missed out. Yeah, and I like the fact that you have um, men and women, so it's not just like there's a whole bunch of lads in there just talking mm. do you know what I'm saying and it's not just the whole heap of gal but you actually have a good dynamic mm. do you know what I'm saying I want more girls but girls don't really want to come on like that sometimes what do you mean like for the camera yeah bro okay or like to chat grease like <laughs> you know what I, mean? I had one girl yeah. I'm not going to say the name of the episode but I had one girl come in um, talking talking a few like openly like mm, you know mm-hmm. what I mean as she deserves to yeah Yeah, as she deserves to talk about what, what she thinks about her, what's going on in her life and relationships and stuff like that next day I get a message from the mandem or her about this that I feel type of way that I shouldn't be I feel like I could ruin this with ruin ruin certain things with my uh, what's going on right now I'm like did you ask her to de- delete it no. Okay, okay. I didn't edit shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going up, babes. Um, mm. I did not edit anything. Only thing I said was, I'm not tagging you. Okay. Don't post. I Don't even post it. Just have it up. Fair enough. Wow. Okay. Like, but you should, I think, I had a, I had a long thing about things that I would want to say and what I wouldn't want to say. Yeah. And I guess you know that yourself, innit? But maybe yeah. yeah she spoke openly and i think it's a such a comfortable environment that you can get caught up just like oh yeah i'm gonna say I'd this rap, that's the point like yeah i want people to be comfortable to have their own opinions on something mm. but as you said earlier bro, i'm gonna tell you the names later but don't say names <laughs> in, don't say names we don't say names don't say names mm. if you want me to bleep them out tell me in it like, yeah 100. tell me to, yo bleep that out like yeah you know what i mean 100 as long as as long as no one gets like offended and stuff like that because some of the stories we actually tell as human, as people and human beings, have you noticed that relatable? Yeah, of course. Not just regarding to gal, mm. just life. Yeah, 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 definitely. Everyone's going through it, man. Everyone's actually mm. going through it, yeah, bro. Yeah, definitely. It's wild. Definitely. So bro. it's like, yeah, like hopefully <clears throat> podcast keeps going that way. Mm. Other stuff is coming. Um, I've got something at at the beginning of next year that I, I got mm. planned. Um, that I'm like. If I if this actually falls through, I'll tell you after. But yeah. I was like, yeah, this could be a sick yeah. opportunity. Like, I, di- I did have you came into my mind the other day for two opportunities. One I'll tell you about because yeah, I'll tell yeah. you it's, it's a it's a potential idea, yeah, but yeah. it's it's an event yeah. that I think you would fit in well with. Yeah, yeah. And the other one was live show, like actual yeah, on stage, yeah, yeah, not yeah, nothing yeah. big, I, I, but I, like I a small venue, like yeah, 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 maybe like that's already in the plan. Yeah, tw- okay, I was thinking yeah, like so. maybe. 20 to 30 people in the crowd. Do you know that's, what I'm saying? That's what works. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's my guy. Works. My guy. My no, guy. That's okay. That's works. Um, All right. I've already said, I've already said it on the pod like two weeks ago. Okay. Um, 100th episode. 100 live show. Live. Live, live, live. Live, live, live yeah, recording. Definitely. Live show. Sick. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out. I, I've got the venue. Okay. I can get the venue. I just need to know like the set, the, in the terms of games and shit like that. Like, I kind of have to think. Oh, the, the other things. Yeah, the other, the small little tiny things in it. Okay. Like, to make it sure it's worth yeah. something. Um, yeah. But um, that's in the works. Um, that's good to hear. That, that's hopefully, that's obviously, Mandem can come true. It's not going to be mm. expensive. No, no, I'm, no, I'm no, making no. sure it's I'm going to make sure it's not well, expensive yeah. because it's the first yeah. one. 
and it's like it's not going to be a big venue yeah anymore. and i think with the podcast shows it seemed like they're interactive so that's the like yeah the crowd tends yeah. to like chip I remember, in and stuff. i remember when i used to put up questions like the question thing on yeah. the stories like people asking questions and people would actually put in questions okay um i haven't done it in like a while but it's just because time and also like mm. the topics the topics do come in in mm. the sense of um like social media again mm. comes up so that's that's a good tool because yeah i think i might have done it once or twice and yeah. i've done it with other podcasts and it actually makes me want to go listen because it's mm. like oh cool i said this so cool i'm gonna listen and see what they yeah, said about yeah, it. and they yeah. might not even mention it do you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah i could be like the hundredth person to say oh yeah talk about this but yeah it's but just it's like it's cool i've been tempted to do one um uh to do one podcast i send in the question but i was like hmm Mm. I don't know if the question is something because I was listening to the podcast while I was thinking about it and I was like I don't really think that would be a question because they kind of answered it like a while mm. back so it's like mm. okay so I just hold that back fair enough fair enough. but in terms of live show I remember I, I, I don't know if you heard the one because uh, uh, um, I went to the receipts live show Mm-mm. was that recently yeah I seen you post that on Instagram yeah bro man went on stage bro did you yeah bro okay <laughs> that you yeah getting about Bro, I went on stage to play like two, three games. Serious? Two games, sorry. Two games. Sick. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. It was jokes. It was jokes, it was jokes. <laughs> That's I lost, the thing, yeah. Bro, like. Oh, you got pants. M- m- yeah. Because <laughs> my, my boy, my boy, my boy shout um, was like, "All right, let's go play this game." I'm like, you know what? Play this game because it's fun. It's mm. quite fun. Mm. The second one, however, I I didn't want to go up. Okay. But Awkward. my boy next to me was like, shouted my name. <laughs> like fucking let's go bruv and also the girl shouted out my name the host oh wow because they remembered me from the first game okay I said fuck and you, got, and you got panned on that one but the thing is I got I, back, I got back it yeah no, you, know you what, have to I think I think man of the realise yeah when your ma- name is out there someone mm. knows your name mm. and they're like come on come on and everyone else is yeah, looking at you yeah you have to either there's the peer pressure <laughs> <laughs> I don't know peer pressure it, yeah. it's either you back it yeah or you sit down like a pussy. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I like. One hundred percent, man. I had to back it. Nah, you had to. But it was fun though. Thing. It was actually quite fun. Like it kind of got to me see like what's what's it like being in front of an audience, mm. as well as having a mic on my face, like having your comments and, you know what I mean. So, mm. nah, I hear that. Definitely live show, okay. is something that I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I'm definitely on the works yeah, for. Yeah, keep us posted, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, as soon as as soon as um. As soon as I lock down the venue and like sort out the little bits and bobs, hopefully I'll do it before the end before New Year's. Mm. It's posted up. Okay. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. But I can I, I can guarantee there is a extra thing when you buy a ticket. Okay. I can say that. Okay. I'll tell you later, bro. Yeah. Uh uh-huh. say calm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't Bala know. Magnum, Manson, man. Man said Ciroc. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know I was Diddy Cuss. <laughs> Shit! Man wants me to move like Rick Ross. You're a free bottle of Bel Air bottle, Just blood. Bo- a case. <laughs> Bel- bottle of case, bro. It's like, man, bro. Stay calm, cuz. But now there is something. No, for the now tickets. two bags. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> but there is something with the ticket. Okay. There, Sick. just to kind of like give it, not just initiative, but like yeah. just to get everyone like yeah, you know what no, I mean. No, no, so, that's good. and I've told people generous. like from London and stuff like that, like if you can come down, bring yeah. your friends. Yeah. It's just gonna be a small venue, but you know, it'd be no, much I'd definitely easier. reach. I definitely reach. Yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah. So, man. I think I obviously think a few people just, would reach that. Yeah, I think people would reach that. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's something as well.